If you're someone who struggles keeping their locks moisturized, then stay tuned because this video is all about lock moisture. What's up you guys welcome back to the real zb where we talk all things locks lifestyle and hopefully share a few laughs so you probably heard this being said a lot in the lock community or in the natural hair community at large that moisture is important and you're probably sitting there wondering why why is moisture important for your locks or for your natural hair I can't speak for natural hair, but in the lock sense, your hair needs to be moisturized so that it can grow healthy and that will prevent it from breaking off. And also keeping your hair moisturized also prevents your hair from being damaged. So that is why it's important to have a good moisture routine. There's this misconception, right, that the longer your hair gets or once your hair coils, you tone down the maintenance of your locks. But this couldn't be further away from the truth because the truth is the longer that your hair gets and the more voluminous that your locks get, the more pressure that, um, the more pressure that it puts on your roots and on your scalp the more that it weighs down so you can see that when your hair starts to hang it's going to weigh down on your roots so in order to prevent your hair from breaking off and from damage you need to make sure that your hair is able to retain its moisture and that you also feed it moisture right so the longer that your hair gets it actually gets more and more important um, to make sure that your hair is moisturized also the hair that is at the bottom which is your tips it's the oldest hair that you have on your head so it basically means that it needs extra attention because it's far away from the scalp which is your new hair so now your next question is going to be how how do i moisturize my hair right so there are two steps to this process your first step is to one add the moisture so is that so that is the action of actually moisturizing your hair and then the second one which is the most important one is to ensure that your hair keeps keeps the moisture so i'm going to speak about both so the first one how are you going to moisturize your hair if you are someone who's well versed in the natural hair community, you'll hear people talk about the lock method or the LCO method. Um, this basically is a method that people use in order to moisturize and retain moisture in their hair. Now the lock or the LCO stands for liquid, oil and cream or liquid cream and oil depending on the depending on the sequence in which you put those products now for the purpose of your locks right we have spoken before and we have established before that you should probably not put creamy products in your hair so we are going to let go of the cream step in the moisturizing routine and we are just going to stick with the L and the O so for ease purposes we call it well I call it the LO method or the LU method LO stands for liquid and oil and LU is just when you're using more than one oil which you probably should but it's more than perfectly good if you're going to stick to one oil okay now let's go deeper into the LO method. Liquid. So the number one liquid that your hair needs and your hair yearns for is water. Okay? Water on your hair and water inside your body. Right? So you need to keep yourself hydrated. You need to drink water and you also need to make sure that you're putting water on your hair. How do you put water in your hair? 
you wash your hair regularly. I like to wash my hair once a week, um, but depending on your own preferences, you can wash it maybe once a week or once every two weeks just depending on your lifestyle and your preferences another way to put moisture um, to put liquid or water in this case in your hair is to have a spray water bottle now this is one of the most essential items um, if you saw the video about my most essential items you will already know that spray water bottle is one of the things that is nice to have um, as someone who has locks so spraying your hair with water just regularly throughout the day i promise you it just adds that little you know it goes that it goes that extra distance it adds something to the moisture process in your hair so you're probably wondering why my <laughs> why my water is brown it's not dirty it's just that this is my moisturizing mix so sometimes i use just water as my liquid but most of the time i like to use my moisturizing mix so in this moisturizing mix i have mostly water and then i put some of this aloe juice aloe vera juice in there and i got this aloe vera juice from Disc scam. You can also get it at Pick and Pay. I've also seen it at Clicks, but it's basically the Nature's Choice brand, and it just looks like this. And this is very versatile. You can drink this, um, but I mostly use it to put it in my moisturizing mix. Um, I don't know if you know this, but um, aloe vera is very good for moisture. So that is why I put it in my moisturizing mix. And then I also put in here a few drops of tea tree oil. I actually have a video on uh, all the oils that I have used and I've loved and also their properties. So you already know if you've watched that video that tea tree oil is an oil that aids in moisturizing. So it penetrates the hair, sh the, it penetrates the hair shafts so yes that's why i put it in with my water so that you know it can go deep um it can go deep and penetrate into my hair shafts and make sure that my hair is nice and moisturized so this is this moisturizing mixture again it's up to you it's your preference you can put whatever liquid that you want in here Another liquid that is very good for locks is rose water. They sell it at Discam. They normally run out of it, but if you see it, then that is, a, is also a nice option that you can use to moisturize your hair, right? So that is the L in low or loo. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. The low or the loo method. Those are the liquids that you can use. And then, as I said before, the second thing that you want to do is to ensure that you are keeping the moisture in your hair and this is where your oils come in. So in this video up here, I basically tell you all the oils that I've used and I tell you the difference between oils that um, aid in moisturization and oils that seal in moisture. So for the second step of your low or loo method, you basically want to be using an oil that is going to seal the moisture. So all of those oils that I mentioned in that video that as sealants, those are the, uh, those are the oils that you're going to use in your second step or your third step if you're using another oil. Um, in your second step of the low method, you, have, you, you need to make sure that the water that you have put on your hair or the liquid that you have put on your hair is sealed in so that your cuticles don't open and let the moisture out. You need oils that are going to actually act as sealants. One more examples or just more information on what oils or which oils will act as a sealant, then go down to the description box below and I will link the video also in the cards so that you can go back and see what oils to use at which step of the process. 
Okay, so that's those are the two steps that I use to moisturize my hair and to keep moisture in my hair and I get a lot of questions about conditioner um, Should I use conditioner on my locks uh, is conditioner bad is conditioner gonna use um, Is conditioner gonna cause buildup in my hair and the truth is I know um, in the lock community conditioner is like a very taboo topic like people don't want to talk about conditioner We want to act like it's not there But let me put your mind at ease, right? Conditioner in itself is not a bad thing it, it doesn't mean that you don't well. This is my personal experience There's no rule written down that says you must never use conditioner However, if you do want to use conditioner, you should proceed on the side of caution um, because the conditioners that I've seen on the market are more um, suitable for other types of hair and not locks. Um, they are quite creamy. So if you do want to use a conditioner, then rather dilute it in water and then spray it into your hair and then rinse it out thoroughly but um yeah it's not it's not really a rule that's written down that you should never ever 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 use conditioner um sometimes your hair does need a moisture boost um but instead of using conditioner maybe try out to do a hot oil treatment i do have a video where i do a hot oil treatment so maybe try out and see what works for you but if you do want to you know if you do want to use conditioner then just know that yeah just proceed on the side of caution and also if you do have starter locks i would strongly advise that you don't use conditioner because what conditioner does is that it reverses what it reverses the lock process so the lock process is trying to mat your hair together and form it into a coil but then if you're using conditioner it's going to reverse that process and it's going to make your hair basically into an afro if that is making sense so it's going to be working against what you're trying to do um, specifically for starter locks because as, as a starter lock person you are trying for your hair to form into locks and coils so rather not use conditioner until your hair is mature enough to you know to stand its own ground but yeah conditioner Use it or don't use it. I would love to try using conditioner, but uh, I will try for you guys if you want. I haven't used conditioner in my hair before, especially like if you are someone who likes to dye your hair or to color your hair, then conditioner does give you that extra boost of moisture and protection from damage. So it's not all bad. And I would really love to try some good conditioners, but yeah, as I said, make sure that you are diluting it with water so that it's not all of its creaminess on your hair because it might lead to buildup. If you would like to see a video of an in-depth moisturizing routine, so this is where I actually go ahead and show you everything that I'm using and how I use it and when I use it, then please Give this video a big thumbs up and while you are here subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching guys bye